Hello, how's everyone doing? Uh, let me start off by saying apologies if this video's audio is a little strange as I am in my dining room currently. Uh, I moved my setup into my dining room because tomorrow, uh, Friday, April 2nd, or when this video is live, I'm going to be doing a charity stream. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a Bob Ross painting stream with like actual paints and supplies. So I had to move my setup into the... Uh, into the dining room to actually have space because my room's kind of small. Uh, but anyways, I thought I would get a video out for you guys. My shield. That way you guys would be able to know about the charity stream, but also darkness. so that I could let you guys see some, some Athena gameplay. Um, on stream recently, I've been playing nothing but Athena since the, since the buff. And uh, I actually, I've gotten Masters, Masters with Athena. And that's gonna be a great video because I recorded every single game. There were some really good ones. Uh, I had a game against a uh, laugh spamming Tiamat that will will be made into a video as well. And yeah, it's just some good stuff. But um, anyways, I promised that there would be a video for... What start do we want to go? I got a few different starts now that I will explain. Um, I promised you guys that I would get a game with Athena after the buff. So that's what we're here to do. Her 2 is actually bugged right now that it does give the extra damage, but it gives less than it should. It doesn't give the scaling. And um, I actually have a few different starts now. One of the starts is Tier 2 Bancrofts. That's what I did last <clears throat> in last video. Uh, this start is the Boots start. Tier 2 Boots into Chalice and Potions. I like this one as well. Also, I've realized that I don't think getting using the ability in base as Athena is better than just charging the one and using it right away uh, for clearing blue buff. I think it's about the same speed because if you use the empowered base tech from base or whatever then you, you still have to charge a one which takes time it's about the same amount of damage so it's about the same hit my opponent that brings all the minions together boom everything's clear we can go for a camp looks like they're starting book of filth uh matchmaking might be a little weird right now i'm recording this at like 1 a.m so not quite. I mean, while I'm Masters, I don't expect this to be a Masters game. But hey, I'll try to get some more. And it's just this is when I had time to do it. Use this clear to keep me away. That's fine. Let's see how much damage we can do. Good damage, good damage. But anyways, the charity I'm doing tomorrow, uh, or when this book is... Or, not this book, when this uh, video is out is that it's going to be a charity stream half is going to go towards uh nami which is nami national association for mental illness and the other half uh my mom has been working on writing a book about her experience with bipolar and there's a lot of unexpected costs with publishing a book so i wanted to help her raise some money to get her book published because it's a it's a really powerful book you know and it's got some serious topics but I think it's a good book overall and I wanted to help her. So half is gonna go towards Nami, half's gonna go towards my mom's book. She really wanted half to go towards Nami, so that's why we're doing that. <laughs> so, but anyways, if you guys could come by, it would mean a lot to me if you're watching this live. If you're not watching this live, hey, I mean, just enjoy the show. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll have a lot more videos soon because I have so much content recorded. I'm usually a big fan of editing videos, but not as much actually getting the footage. So having a ton of footage and just I get to this. just dive into the editing is super fun. Like Athena Duel, the Athena Duel montage, definitely coming soon. Uh, probably going to be one of my better videos because usually when I Look do a, me. a montage like that, I get a lot of games, but you know not all of them are good. With this montage, there's just a lot of close plays, a lot of... Uh, a lot of satisfying plays, you know. And that's all possible because of Bumba's hammer and Athena passive. I'm right here. Now against Kokokin, we're gonna want to get a uh, blink against him. That way we can blink, uh, do our combo and all that. We're also gonna try to burn his bees as much as possible. But most importantly, we're trying to get to level 20. That way we can get Bumbo's Hammer, uh, as that is the name of the game with Athena. Athena doesn't have the alt, but she's got her Reach passive, which is additional 50% of her magical power goes towards her 
base attack after an ability and it's ranged. It's like a mini, mini poly shot and that works perfectly with Bumbas. Like really well. Whoops, I messed that up a bit. That's okay. I won't die. They do have their uh, Thoth now. So that's a little power spike for them. Yeah, but I hope the video doesn't. <laughs> I hope the audio is not so echoey in here. It's kind of empty in this room. Let's see a werewolf claw through this. But yeah, I moved my setup in here a day early because I just figured if I did it the day of, that would take forever. Like, I mean, it takes like it takes like an hour and a half to move my entire setup. Quite honestly, I'm gonna have to move it back after. Let's see. Some warding sigils. What else are you gonna build? I assume they're gonna get Genjis. Also, uh, I might as well use this game to just talk about some of the other games I've had with Athena. Some experience, I guess, I've learned. Experience I've learned. I don't know. Uh, but Look at me. one of the harder matchups for Athena is uh, Scotty. Scotty's pretty tough. I have actually, there was a Scotty player I first like four times, five times in the same day, and I got close to beating them. And then something would happen, and I would lose my Phoenix and Titan all in one go, or I would just lose everything, you know? Right really hard time against Scotty. But other than that, matchups actually haven't been too bad. Uh, Cali, I fought once, was kind of tough. I did lose that. Um, but I would have to play that matchup more to know for sure. Um, Vamana, while I haven't actually versed Vamana, I have a high suspicion that would be a hard matchup. Any auto attack that go god that goes frostbound um, seems to be Athena's weakness as well. If you are fighting an auto attack god that can build frostbound, you should me. save your second relic for sprint. And even if they don't go frostbound, uh, going sprint can be strong because then they can't switch their build later on. Because I've had games against like Erling, right, where I'm winning the entire game. Oh, that's sad. I'm winning the entire game, and then they get Frostbound, and I end up losing it. So, we don't want that happening, you know? It's not what we want. Yeah, but it, it was it was exciting getting Masters with Athena. I've only been Masters uh, twice. Oh, no. This is, yeah, this is my tw second time ever getting Masters. Other than that, I've never really gotten Masters because I've never really tried for it. Uh, this was like my second time actually trying for it and be like, I want to get Masters because I know I can. So that was pretty cool. Hmm. Don't think I'd kill him. Let's get his beads. We're, we're, there's not enough fighting happening. Look at me. No beads, really. Kind of smart of him. I mean, he wasn't really in danger. Now that, I actually don't think is going to clear the wave. He's running all the way back. Huh. Just clear the wave and then the leave. The wicked will not get the jump on us. You'll need to hit me harder than that. I like this skin. This skin's cool. All right, let's get Fancy Genji's. I actually meant enough. to go purple you boots. Uh, that was a mistake by me, but that's okay. It doesn't make a difference. Once I sell boots. Um, we're fine. I just don't want to be overcapped. I don't think I'll be overcapped anyways. We don't need Divine. We go Poly. This is a Poly game. People always say, do you build Poly and Athena? The answer to that is yes, sometimes. Because it depends on your opponent. If your opponent's somewhere super tanky, Poly's not going to do that much damage unless you have a bunch of penetration. So it's not really great. But if you're against a squishy mage like Kukulkin, yeah, no, Poly's great here. Polly's fantastic, so uh, even though he's gaining defense, I think Polly's a good good option. Uh, for our penetration item, we can go Obsidian, we can me. go Divine if he gets life steal. We can go Spear the Magus, actually is pretty good on Athena with her too, now that it does damage. An item that Athena can build quite well now is uh, actually uh, Soul Reaver against tanks. So that's pretty cool. Doesn't give penetration anymore though. Right here. A lot of time I build Ratatouille though. Whoops. Oh, he's ulting a lot of camps this game. 
no first blood yet because we haven't really been having a chance to fight each other. This is the left. He's actually kind of low here. That's his beads for my slow. Wow, okay. With his beads down, I feel pretty comfortable doing going for a bleak kill here or something like that. Wow, he really doesn't want to fight me. Is this sharks all to count? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, yeah, sharks is actually a pretty cool dude. Uh, my last full gameplay I was against Sharks. I didn't really know him, but we ended up fighting a lot more games. But he, every game we played, he was a good sport. And while his playstyle kind of is, you know, PvE, it's kind of annoying. The dude's the dude's a, a cool guy overall. So I just thought I would mention that because the comments were a little bit mean in regards to Sharks. Once again, yes, his playstyle pretty annoying. But it's not like he was like being BM or anything, you know, like. Those are the people I have no patience for. People that are being yeah, for no reason. Where was that going, buddy? Okay, well, if he doesn't want to fight me, we can obviously do poly things. Oh, that was actually bad. Or was it? I don't know. I know your beads are down. Get back up in case you tornadoes over the wall. Yeah, let's just get Polly. I think we need to start poking down the objectives. A Strong part about Athena. Keeps their equipment oh, Soul Gem also uh, you can build. I'm not a big fan of it. I think we'll go Rod. Rod's great here. It gives good scaling. Uh, gives some penetration. Bumbo's Hammer gives 10% pen. So with Rod, that's 20%. Really nice. Okay, we're level 15. This is where Athena's kind of at her strongest power spike because all of my abilities are maxed. This is when we want to fight, but obviously I can't control what my opponent does. I just thought I'd mention that in case you guys try to play Athena. Because uh, my honest opinion on Athena right now is she is really good. Uh, I was winning way more with Athena than you here. I'll just say that. Again. I mean, I feel like my movement is pretty good. Alright, you got hit by that. Dodge that. Okay. Use my 3 2 here. Don't have enough time to auto attack cancel. Oh, that didn't kill you. I can still kill him. I have a get tower, I kill. Nice. I think he expected me to go around over here and, uh,. That's why I put the tornado there and just didn't expect him to click over the wall. I didn't expect him to stay, but once he placed our tornado, I knew he was there. Don't know if we get Phoenix here. I don't think so, but I get like half of it with my abilities. Time it with my poly shots. I actually mistimed that. Whoops. I got a little bit of Phoenix. I'll level up the alt because I know it annoys people. I'm sorry. I know I love it with the alt. It'd be pretty annoying. I apologize. Spirit of Deso in Duel, huh? Not a big fan of Spirit Whoops. Not a big fan of Spirit of Deso in Duel, personally. I need to get out here. Like, Spirit of Deso is good for the stats, but obviously the passive just straight up doesn't work. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, that was that was him wasting his uh, beads. I mean, it's like kind of smart to preemptively beads, but no, you have to be right on the money. It's way better to just beads once you get hit against Athena, I think. Unless you can like perfectly time it, but then at that point, you're not really preemptively beading, are you? Like against your mirror, right? You can preemptively beat because the animation on his three is so long. Dina's two is kind of instant. So I don't know. By the way, we can't take the respawn, uh, respawn time is too short. But we take respawn time soon. We are level 18. When you hit level 18, that's when you want to start saving gold for Bumbas. However, I already had a bunch of gold. So I think it's fine to spend it. I just need 1,000 gold in two levels. So that's fine. 
But yeah, that's the most important thing about I think the duel, you guys, if you try it. Uh, make sure you have enough gold when you get level 20. If you don't have enough gold to hit level 20, I've lost games like that. Like again, against a Scotty or something like that. I'm winning the entire game. I hit level 20, I'm like, oh, I'm just 200 gold off, that's fine. Go and have a fight, lose the fight because I don't have Bumbas, and then all of a sudden the game's over. It's, it's really important to have it right away. If any of you try Athena in duel, let me know how it goes. A lot of people on my Twitch chat have been trying it in duel and saying, wow, she is actually really strong. Yeah, it's kind of kind of fun. Still a challenge, obviously. You know, no, no alt, you're still a guardian, but... No, her passive makes the makes the dream work. Because if you're against somebody that's not defending, right here. you just do stuff like this. You know what I mean? It's really strong. It's really, really strong. Forces your opponent to fight. That's something a lot of Guardians can't do. Oh, that was actually really bad. That was bad of me. I'll age if I need to. Yeah, once again, matchmaking might not be great here, just because I am queuing at such a late time. I just figured might as well get a video out, and then I need to get some videos out for some other guards, for some other gods. I've played more Athena this split than any other god. Actually, more than any other right god here. combined, probably. I just like grinded nothing but Athena until I got masters. And my border should be diamond. But it is showing us so platinum, but I'm pretty sure it should be diamond. Um, I'm gonna try to force his beads here. Look at me. Was his beads already down? That was dumb of me. I could've killed him if I had held on to mages. That was dumb. It's okay. We fight. All that matters if we don't die. Alright, we pretty much win. Buying Bumba's hammer is our win condition. One thing that I really like about Athena is that... What item should I go here? Uh, hold on one second. Uh, let's go Spear of the Mages. I haven't tried it yet with Rod of Tutti. One thing I really like about Athena is she plays well from ahead as well as behind. Uh, ahead, you know, she's poking down the objectives. She's putting pressure. Most gods are pretty good from ahead. But right when here. you're playing from behind and your opponent's like, you know, in your tower, in your phoenix, you can get a lot of kills just by taunting them and then putting the extra objective damage on them. And she also does a pretty good job at stealing Demon King. I mean, it's not great, but her... I, I stole Demon King actually recently with Vita passes. That was pretty high. Actually, I can kill you here, can't I? I just have to taunt. Nice. Oh, well, that's... Yeah, that's game. But, I mean, this game this game was mainly just to... Just to show you guys what Athena is like after the buff. Um, I'll probably play her again when they fix her too, and I'll try to get a... I'll try to queue at, like, prime hours for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you're watching this when it's live... Uh, just check the description and feel free to come by the stream. It'll be a fun time. And yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support you guys have given lately. And uh, if you have any other gods you want me to play for a full gameplay, let me know. However, I'm probably going to be playing specific gods that I feel like I can contribute to helping you guys. You know, like certain, certain gods that I can play, but I don't play them very well. Like Terra. <laughs> it's funny, my Terra's not terrible. Oh god, I didn't mean to make a pun. My Terra's not terrible, I just don't like playing her. And uh, look at the match details, and yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later.